Hello everyone, Coach Carl here with you. This morning, as I was trawling through my emails, I saw a notification from Ancestry that there was a possible hint for one of my ancestors in the form of the 1921 census. This particular person lived in Wales, in Pembrokeshire, Wales, and was the father of several children. And in this detailed 1921 census record, I can find out even more about him. The thing that I noticed straight away was this new feature at the top. It says, there's more to discover in this record. Dive deeper into the life of Joseph Job Evans. So I clicked on the start. I want to show you how that helps me discover if this is the right Joseph Job Evans. It starts off with an expansion of the census record on the screen and then says, let's find out if the information about Joseph Job is in your tree, matches the Joseph Job in your tree. Start. And then immediately highlights some of the information and moves quickly to that point on the census. For example, Joseph Job was recorded as the head of the household. His age in 1921 was six to seven years and eight months. He was married and he was married to Mariah or Maria Evans, her maiden name, yet to be discovered. One thing I noticed that it didn't do well was to transcribe where Joseph was born. And clearly on the 1921 census, it says that it was Rose Market in Pembrokeshire. Yet this little translation says Somerset, England in about 1853. So that can be a little misleading if you only look at the transcript. It's always a good idea to do dive deep into the record itself. His occupation is farmer, that I knew. He's working in own, on own account, means he's an employer. And the place of work, which I did not know before, was Trefloin Farm. And that Trefloin Farm features throughout the census list for his children's residence. Then it comes up with the question, does this Joseph Job Evans in the record match the person in your tree? For me, it is a yes, because all the names of the children match those that I'd already researched. So in saying yes, I'm back to this point, and it will add that 2021 census to the record or Joseph. Here we are. Let's put a little image of the 1921 census there for me. And I know that he was born in Pembrokeshire. Now that I saw what he had put in the census, I can make a slight change there. And residence is there. And then the details for his family. Some of those we can add in place. Just checking that I haven't had any errors on dates. Children. And the spelling of the name there is different. So I am inclined to change that, what it says on the 1921 census. And then save all that to my tree. That was a very useful walkthrough of how Ancestry and its AI tools behind the scenes can help you 
make adding the details and records to your family tree a really easy process. So here is the 1921 male census now recorded in the facts for this ancestor, Joseph Joe 